Okay, a quick video here. I um, ordered some square drill bits the other day to do mortises and tenons with, and I neglected to order the drill press attachment kit. So I made one out of wood. Um, this front part here on top is attached to the base. The back part is attached to the front part via two uh, quarter inch bolts. And then that's attached to the base here as well with a bolt on each side. Um, I have a hex nut here that, that uh, tightens it in. On the other side of the wood there are two nuts. Um, I drilled a hole all the way through and put the nuts through, screwed them in anyway. That, that does a perfectly fine job of holding the uh, collar of the drill bit in place. Um, I drilled the hole for the collar of the drill bit um, by uh, actually securing this to the collar of the drill press and then uh, drilling part of it while it was actually on the on the press and then putting these um, uh, putting these uh, screws in while while the Forstner bit was was uh, still in the in the drill um, <clears throat> so uh, anyway you have to you have to have a perfectly centered or it'll wobble like crazy but I did get it perfectly centered and it works great. Um, the, the hole for the collar, I started with a 35 millimeter Forstner bit and, um, and uh, then, uh, you know, perfected the size on my lathe. So anyway, that's it. You can see it, it doesn't wobble and uh, drills a nice square hole. Drill press a little, little bit, but not the. Anyway, uh, works great. Um, I made it out of cherry and poplar. I don't think you could do it out of pine; it wouldn't be strong enough. But um, as it is, it works great. Uh, I had a job to do, so it took me a few hours to build it, but it was faster than ordering it. So anyway, I got my attachment, and uh, um, there you go. I hope you can uh, hope you can make one if uh, if you need one.